Howdy, folks. Trady Griff's here. Going to talk about some cards I picked up recently, um, both on eBay, Twitter, and at the card show I stopped at with my beautiful wife, Jennifer. <clears throat> first, I'm going to talk about the stuff I picked up on uh, Twitter first. I have a 19... Let me get my glasses on here, folks. Okay. I got a 1958 Warren Spahn. I'm really getting into these 58 cards. They're really nice looking. His teammate, Hammer and Hank. Uh, that one has a bit of paper loss and a crease across the middle. But I got a pretty good deal on both these. A little combo action. Also, this week, on Twitter, I picked up these three. 1962 highlight cards. I got uh, Killebrew, Wade Ford, and uh, Warren Spahn. There's the Ford here. No, they were like five bucks a piece. I needed them for my uh, hi highlight set from 62. Uh, one of my favorite sets. I was really into 1962 cards when I was little, like uh, my friend's dad used to uh, bust those out when we were playing flips and noxies. He'd like bust out his 62 cards. So those were some of the first vintage I ever got back in. They seemed really old and that was like 1980. I guess they were like 18 years old at that point. But they seemed like a million years old to me back then, you know. So a 62 set, always have a fun place in my heart. Uh, also on eBay, I picked up this 59 Ernest Banks in a PSA 3. We get a lot of Ernie cards lately. Uh, I don't know why. Just been like falling into, falling into my lap kinda. Uh, I also picked up this 72 Nolan Ryan and SGC3. I'm working on my Nolan Ryan run right now in the top space. Uh, I two cards short. I need his 69 and 70. Um, if anyone's got a great deal on one of those, send it over my way. Maybe we'll work on a trade or something. Uh, yeah, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, trade of Griffs. What's uh, your favorite vintage set? Uh, lay it on me. Tell me all about it. All right, now I'm going to talk about the card show we went to. We went to a card show in Newport Beach called the Newport Beach Showcase. It was not this weekend, but the weekend previous. Uh, there was a lot of YouTube content creators there, some of them that I knew previously and some of them that I just met at the show. Uh, it was good to, like, talk to people, uh, do some networking, some kibitzing. Uh, I don't know, just meet meet other dealers, see what they're selling and how they operate, what the setups look like that people were using. <clears throat> uh, they did not have a ton of vintage there. Um, most of the stuff was pretty modern. That's not what I, I mean, I do have some modern stuff, but more that's like a few players I collect modern, but mostly I'm into vintage, so. It was not a ton of stuff I was looking to buy, but I did pick up a few pickups. Uh, two bucks a piece. I got these, uh, I got this Maxi and this Pritchard. I really, I really like the Pritchard because of the color match there. It's a uh, cool looking mosaic. Both rookie cards, they were $2, $2 bin. And then uh, <clears throat> this guy was all 20% off everything on his table. So I got this uh, Select Burrow and Herbert for eight bucks a piece. Yeah. Both rookies seem like a good deal. I also picked up this Acuna for like twelve dollars. That's the tease for eight. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I believe in both those guys. Uh, young up and comers. Uh, so this is kind of funny, actually. I uh, I thought when I picked this up for two bucks. This Lou Pinella rookie card from 68, that that was his rookie card. 
But then after doing a little bit of research, uh, he also has one of these using the exact same photo from 1969 rookie card. And as far back as 1964, that's his true rookie card. And they used a different photo in that one. But I do not have that. I think these are like, I don't know, like six or eight bucks. And then uh, that 1964 is like, goes for like $50. But I don't have that one. Who knew? Three rookie cards. Uh, what other players do you know that have like multiple rookie cards? I know, uh, I think Dale Murphy's seven, was it 77 and 78? I know there's got to be some other players like that. You don't see that much anymore. Not with the Bowman first and rookie logos on stuff. I don't think we'll be seeing those days again. Uh, yeah, so this, there was like this younger kid set up with his dad that was kind of cool. He had a lot of uh, reasonable price stuff and was willing to work out some deals. So I got this uh, 60 Cepeda. I think I paid $2 for that. Uh, 19, I got a lot of 1970 that day. That's my birthday year. I had this Denny McLean. What a weird story that guy has, huh? Uh, this is my second one of these, but the deal was too good to pass up for 10 bucks. Uh, 1970 Pete Rose. And I got uh, for 15 bucks, I got this 1970 Ernie Banks. I believe that's high number too. Uh, both, both those cards are like, all those guys' cards were in really good shape. Uh, two bucks, I picked up uh, Bill Buckner rookie card. And then I found one other dealer who had some vintage stuff, reasonably priced. And I've got myself my, I did not have a Thurman Munson rookie card. I think I paid 40 bucks for that. That was probably the biggest pickup I did the entire show. Uh, I think we might have dropped maybe $110, $115 bucks the entire show. Did not spend a lot of money. But uh, there just was not a lot of stuff. Oh, we did like, uh, this one guy had this wheel you got to spin. It was actually kind of fun. And then uh, it would like land on the prize, kind of like Wheel of Misfortune. So it was five bucks a spin. We gave that a couple spins and got a few packs of cards and uh, a couple modern players. But I forgot to have those out there. Oh, and the great curator gave my wife a few uh, Star Wars cards. I'm trying to suck me into buying those. I don't need any more addictions. Well, uh, that's about it. Those are my recent pickups. Please uh, like, subscribe, comment down below. You can find me on TikTok at Trader Griffs. I'm on eBay at Trader Griffs. I'm on Twitter at Trader Griffs. I'm on YouTube at Trader Griffs. I'm on Instagram at Trader Griffs. Reach out to me. Maybe we can uh, talk about the hobby. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys have a great afternoon. I'll see you later.